the word kala meaning black indicates the color of the supreme personality of godhead krishna lord krishna and lord ramachandra who both look blackish give liberation and transcendental bliss to their devotees among persons possessing material bodies sometimes someone is able to subject that to his own will for such a person death is almost impossible because no one wants to die but although bhishma deva possessed this power bhishma by the supreme will of the lord died very easily in the lord's presence there have also been many demons who had no hope of salvation yet kamsa attained salvation by the supreme will of the lord not to speak of kamsa even utana attained salvation and reached the level of the lord's mother parikshit maharaj therefore was very eager to hear about the lord who has inconceivable qualities by which to give liberation to anyone parikshit maharaj at the point of his death was certainly interested in his liberation when such a great and exalted personality as the lord behaves like an ordinary human being although possessing inconceivable qualities his behavior is called maya
therefore lord is described as maya manushya this is the opinion of shila jeeva goswami the word mu in sanskrit refers to mukti or salvation and the word in sanskrit ku refers to that which is bad or very obnoxious thus the word muku refers to the supreme personality of godhead who saves one from the bad condition of material existence the lord is called mukunda because he not only saves the devotee from material existence but offers him transcendental bliss in love and service as for keshava the word ka means brahma and isha means lord shiva the personality of godhead captivates both lord brahma and lord mahadev or shiva by his transcendental qualities therefore he is called keshava this opinion is given by sanatana goswami in his vaishnava tosani commentary it is said that all the demigods accompanied by trinayana lord shiva went to the shore of the ocean of milk and offered their prayers through the mantra known as purush shukta from this statement it is understood that the devi gods cannot directly approach lord vishnu who lies on on the ocean of milk or enter his abode 
this is also clearly stated in the mahabharata moksha dharma and the next chapter of shrimad bhagavatam krishna the supreme personality of godhead has his abode in goloka goloka namni nije dhamni tale cha tasya from lord krishna come to the chaturvyuha the quadruple expansion sankarshana aniruddha pradyumna and vasudeva there are innumerable brahmandas all of which emanate from the pores of karunadakshai vishnu and in every brahmanda there is a garbhodaka shai vishnu who is a partial expansion of aniruddha this aniruddha is a partial expansion of pradyumna who is partially represented at chirok dakshai vishnu the super soul of all living entities these vishnu expansions are different from krishna who resides in goloka vrindavana when it is said that the devi gods offered prayers to the lord by chanting the purush shukta this indicates that they pleased the lord by enunciating prayers of bhakti the word vikshakapi refers to one who satisfies his devotee in every way and frees his devotee from all material anxieties brasa refers to religious performances like sacrifices 
even without the execution of sacrifices the lord can still enjoy the supermost comforts of the heavenly planets the statement that purushottama jagannatha would appear in the house of vasudeva distinguishes the supreme personality of godhead from ordinary persons the statement that he personally appeared this indicates that he did not send his plenary expansion the word in sanskrit priyartham indicates that the lord appear to please rukmini and radharani priya means the most beloved um, the line He has a whole in the commentary of sri veer raghava acharya the following extra verse is accepted after text 23 rasayo pi tad adeshat kalpayantam pashu rupina पयोदना मुखे नापी विष्णु तर्पयुतुम सुरह ओ देमी गॉड्स इवन ग्रेट सेजेस फॉलोइंग द ऑर्डर ऑफ विष्णु अपीयर्ड इन द फॉर्म्स ऑफ काव्स एंड काव्स to please the supreme personality of godhead by delivering milk
Ramanujacharya sometimes accepts Baladeva as a Satya Vesha avatar. But Srila Jiva Goswami has explained that Baladeva is an expansion of Krishna and that a part of Baladeva is Shankarshana. Although Baladeva is identical with Sankarshana. He is the origin of Sankarshana. Therefore, the word Swarat has been used to indicate that Baladeva always exists in his own independence. The word Swarat also indicates that Baladeva is beyond the material conception of existence. Maya cannot attract him, but because he is fully independent, he can hear by his spiritual potency. Where Maya is fully under the control of Vishnu because the material potential and the yoga maya mingle in the Lord's appearance. Maya is fully under the control of Vishnu because the material potential and yoga maya mingle in the Lord's appearance. They are described as Ekanamsha. Sometimes Ekanamsha is interpreted to mean without differentiation. Sankarsana and Sheshanaga are identical. As stated by Yamuna Devi, O Rama, O great armed master of the world, who have extended yourself throughout the entire universe by one plenary expansion. It is not possible to understand you fully. Therefore, a Kamsha refers to Shesh Naga. In other words, Baladeva, merely by his partial expansion sustains the entire universe.
द वर्ड करियार थे रेफर्स टू वन हू अट्रैक्टेड द प्रेगनेंसी ऑफ देवकी एंड बी वर्ल्ड मदर यशोदा these past times are very confidential the supreme personality of godhead ordered yoga maya to bewilder his associates in his past times and bewilder demons like kamsa as is stated previously yoga mayam samadhishta to give service to the lord yoga maya appeared along with Mahamaya. Mahamaya refers to Yaya Samohitam Jagat, one who bewilders the entire material world. From this statement. it is to be understood that yoga maya in her partial expansion becomes mahamaya and bewilders the conditional souls in other words the entire creation is this transcendental or spiritual and material योग माया मैनेज द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड एंड बाय हर पार्शियल एक्सपेंशन एज महामाया शी मैनेज द मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एज स्टेटेड इन द नारद पांचरात्र maya is a partial and the narada panchratra clearly states that the supreme personality has one potential which is sometimes described as the the brahma samhita says cheva yasya bhuvanani bibharti durga durga is not different from yoga maya yes. when one understands durga properly he is immediately liberated for durga is originally 
the spiritual potency ahladni shakti by whose mercy one can understand the supreme personality of godhead very easily durga is originally the spiritual potency ahladni shakti by whose when one understands durga properly he is immediately liberated yeah. for durga is originally the spiritual potency kaladni shakti yeah. by whose mercy one can understand the supreme personality of godhead very easily how is this connection good to do that let's now from part to like spread because when you will know material energy and you will make you to see the highest spiritual energy allah that that very very goal of life you know under line to know means to distinguish to be able to that see see the beauty material power and spiritual power material power is controlled by durga and the spiritual power even krishna is controlled by a lajmi shiva is controlled by durga So Shiva lie down to stop me. You remember? Shiva lie down to mm. stop Durga because with the energy she was not getting stopped. Yeah, and continuously running, running and killing whosoever was coming on the way. Because the anger was not getting calmed down because this energy once came in full action. at that time she was not like the same thing when he after killing hiran kashyapu nishimdev was not getting calm down the same thing happened with kali also durga also then shiva lay down that until the husband wife relation so it is when in a species to touch husband body with the feet or a wife then the shiva lay down on the in this field and when this come across and to put then just it happened like this a tongue came out that what what i did this and that time she came back on her original form then it she became calm and and even the creator supreme lord cannot be a crown without a lot of things like this that is supreme lord krishna allah ne shakti radhika so krishna radhika allah ne shakti is controlled by krishna knowing only krishna is not knowing without allah it is uh, uh, 
is a never a sthai bhav will come without knowing a lot of things. Sanchari bhav, always moving nature, never fixed will come. And without your Radha Dasyam, without a sthai bhav not coming. And Radha Dasi is a constitutional power of right, constitutional position. Sarup and Sarup Siddhi is the good. Prabhupada right everything. Sarup, without your Sarup, constitutional position. And that perfection is the spiritual life. Then you are ready to enter in the service of Allah. That is says by which nation. Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vikriti, Radhani, Shakti, Rasmat. You see, the principle underlying the explain this. Can I make one question, Guru? Mm-hmm. Can I make one question that uh, just as Balaram, from Balaram, all the uh, is Vishnu and Shankar Shanti Kavatar, they get uh, manifested. Then you see, it is also that all the Dini Shakti, all the Shakti comes from Radhika. But first, is uh, because we say Balaram, it's uh, also Tananka Manjari. Is it that Tananka Manjari actually manifests all the Shakti? Uh, 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 this is all created by Radhika. This is happen in the Adhan Manjari form, all is Radhika. Radhika Sakti is doing this in the form of Balram. First you have to know Balram, then you have to know Anand Manjari, and then you have to understand Anand Manjari is the sister of Radhika. So the Radhika is doing through Anand Manjari all this creation. Reality is this. But Balaram and Kamajar is same though, but one is a Purush and one is a Shakti. No, both is same. All these animals. There is no two. When he he he, he cultivated the land first, this is his work. Then he put the fertilizer in the land, his word. Then he put the seed in the land. This is his word. That is, my body, my consciousness is like a dry, it is a stone that he fertile it and cultivate it. And that put the seed, and seed start growing. Then Crops, grass start coming here, but that he took out the grass. I don't want to take out grass, then the plant will die. But his job to take out your grass, because I want your, your seed of the spirituality people. Then the plant go, then animals complete that, then they fence that the fencing is the devotee's association. This is sure rely the spiritual master will help them. That is Nityana. Real Nityananda is this. this is all Radhika's expression. Who is Radha Dasi, they can do it. If not Radha Dasi, they will confuse us. They will say, I am the Guru. Guru is the Guru. Crazy. Guru cannot be a Guru. It's a Mahavad.
Guru is the last day of fun. That is the beauty of, of Guru Nishra. And then the, he can bring to Radhika, that is the service of Guru. Why he can be a goal? How he will be goal? One person whose servant is the goal, or his boss is the goal. So his work to bring to the boss, that is the job of coming Manjali. That is the job of Nityananda. That is the job of Nitai. Nitya Ananda is Nitai. Andare Baha, Andare Nitai, Bahare Nitai. What is Andar and Baha? Inside is in the, in the, in the power. Outside is an entire intuition from inside and some inspiration comes to us. What is that? Is catching the living diamonds. When you are connected with the time, Radha, Radha, and divine realization. That is the meaning. The Mahamaya Shakti, however, is a covering of Yoga Maya. Uh, Mahamaya and Yoga Maya is a covering of Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya covered to Maya. And she is therefore called the covering potency. By this covering potency, the entire material world is bewildered. Uh, Yaya Sammohitam Jagat. Yoga Maya is covered by material. And my soul is covered by material cross body. My senses, my false ego, this is covered to my soul. So Mahamaya covered my yoga maya. In conclusion, bewildering the conditional souls and liberating the devotees are both functions belonging to Yoga Maya. Condition. It becomes condition because of covering. But we are belonging to your mind. Allah is a lot. Your miracle, hundred percent people not listen and understand. This is your case, I am explaining this. Here, my God, which chapter is this? This is first chapter. Then come to chapter first. Underline here, this is very important. This is the whole base of the South. Only you understand.
by this covering potential the entire material world is bewildered yaya samohitam jagat what is transferring the pregnancy of devaki and keeping mother yashoda in deep sleep we are both done by yoga maya that's it not mahap yoga maha maya cannot act upon such devotees Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. For they, they cannot. Mahamaya cannot go near to them. That's what Mahamaya. Krishna wants to confuse that whole universe in his mouth. The black magic. Somebody is my son. He cannot believe that his whole universe is not ready to accept. <laughs> He's not going to touch my. for for they are always liberated but although it is not possible for mahamaya to control liberated souls or the supreme personality of godhead what it clearly you explain it she did bewilder kamsa we are bewilder to the demonia the action of yoga maya in presenting herself before kamsa was the action of mahamaya not yoga maya yeah. understand what you want mahamaya to the temples mahamaya what the liberated how oh, why did it that to this oh, want to be lover योग माया कैन नॉट इवेन सी और टच सच पॉल्यूटेड पर्सन एज कम सा 
In Chandi, in the Markande Purana, 11th chapter, Mahamaya says, During the 28th Yuga, in the period of Vavashwat Manu, I shall take birth as the daughter of Yashoda and be known as Vindhyachala Vasini. The distinction between the two Mayas The distinction between the two mayas, yoga maya and mahamaya, is described as follows Krishna's Rasalila with the gopis and the gopis' bewilderment in respect to their husbands fathers-in-law and others such relatives were arrangements of yoga maya. Wow. They have different, different ladies who is liberated yoga maya goes there. In which Mahamaya had no influence. The Bhagavatam gives sufficient evidence of this when it clearly says Yoga Mayam Upasrita. On the other hand, there were Asuras headed by Salva and Kshatriyas like Duryodhana who were bereft of devotional service in spite of seeing Krishna's carrier Garuda and the universal form and who could not understand Krishna to be the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This was also bewilderment, but this bewilderment was due to Mahamaya. Yeah. Therefore, it is to be concluded that the Maya 
which drags a person from the supreme personality of godhead is called jadamaya or mahamaya said jadamaya what is the meaning of the material what is not living non living like it here jada jada Chetan, who is who has a life, they are Chetan. So all this. One Jaramaya, one Chetan. And the Maya, which acts on the transcendental platform, is called Yoga Maya. Jaramaya, Chaitanya Maya, Yoga Maya. When Nanda Maharaj was taken away by Varuna, he saw Krishna's opulence. But nonetheless, he thought of Krishna as his son. Such feelings of parental love in the spiritual world are the acts of Yoga Maya, yeah. not of Jada Maya or Maha Maya. This is the opinion of Sri Ravi Shwanath Chakravarti Thakur. What is the last line? When Nanda Maharaj was taken away by, by Varuna, he saw Krishna's opulence. But nonetheless, he thought of Krishna as his son. Such feelings of parental love in the spiritual world are acts of Yoga Maya. Not of Jadamaya or Mahamaya. This is the opinion of Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakura. 